Politics of Gabon Politics of Gabon takes place in a framework of the Republic whereby the President of Gabon is head of state and in effect, also the head of government, since he appoints the Prime Minister and his cabinet. The government is divided into three branches, the executive, headed by the Prime Minister, Elthal previously grabbed by the President, the legislative that is formed by the two chambers of Parliament. The judicial branch, like other two branches, is technically independent and equal to other three branches, although in practice, since its judges are appointed by the President, it is beholden to the same President. Since independence the party system is dominated by the conservative Gabonese Democratic Party. In March 1991 a new constitution was adopted. Among its provisions are a Western-style Bill of Rights, the creation of the National Council of Democracy also oversees the guarantee of those rights and a governmental advisory board which deals with economic and social issues. Multi party legislative elections were held in 1991 even though opposition parties had not been declared formally legal. Under the 1961 Constitution, revised in 1975 and rewritten in 1991, Gabon became a republic with a presidential form of government. The National Assembly of Gabon has 120 deputies elected for a five year term. The president is elected by universal suffrage for a seven year term. The president appoints the prime minister, the cabinet, and judges of the independent Supreme Court. The government in 1990 made major changes in the political system. A transitional constitution was drafted in May as an outgrowth of a national political conference in March to April and later revised by a constitutional committee. Among its provisions were a Western-style Bill of Rights, creation of a National Council of Democracy, which oversees the guarantee of those rights, a governmental advisory board on economic and social issues, and an independent judiciary. After approval by the National Assembly, the PDG Central Committee, and the President, the Assembly unanimously adopted the Constitution in March 1991. Multi-party legislative elections were held in 1990-91 although opposition parties had not been declared formally legal. After a peaceful transition, the elections produced the first representative, multi-party, National Assembly. In January 1991, the Assembly passed by unanimous vote a law governing the legalization of opposition parties. The president was re-elected in a disputed election in 1993 with 51% of votes cast out social and political disturbances led to the 1994 Paris Conference and Accords, which provided a framework for the next elections. Local and legislative elections were delayed until 1996 to 1997. In 1997, constitutional amendments were adopted to create an appointed Senate, the position of vice president, and to extend the president's term to seven years. Facing a divided opposition, President Omar Bongo was re-elected in December 1998, with 66% of the votes cast. Although the main opposition parties claimed the elections had been manipulated, there was none of the civil disturbance that followed the 1993 election. The president retained strong powers, such as authority to dissolve the National Assembly, declare a state of siege, delay legislation, conduct referendums, and appoint and dismiss the prime minister and cabinet members. For administrative purposes, Gabon is divided into nine provinces, which are further divided into 36 prefectures and eight separate sub-prefectures. The president appoints the provincial governors, the prefects, and the sub-prefects. At the time of Gabon's independence in 1960, two principal political parties existed, the Bloc Démocratique Gabonais, BDG, led by Léon Mba, and the Union Démocratique et Sociale Gabonais, UDSG, led by Jeannie Larabame. In the first post-independence election, held under a parliamentary system, neither party was able to win a majority. The BDG obtained support from three of the four independent legislative deputies, and Mba was named prime minister. Soon after concluding that Gabon had an insufficient number of people for a two-party system, the two party leaders agreed on a single list of candidates. In the February 1961 election, held under the new presidential system, Mba became president and Abame foreign minister. This coalition appeared to work until February 1963, when the larger BDG forced the UDSG members to choose between a merger of the parties or resignation. The UDSG cabinet ministers resigned, and Umba called an election for February 1964 and a reduced number of National Assembly deputies, from 67 to 47. The UDSG failed to muster a list of candidates able to meet the requirements of the electoral decrees. When the BDG appeared likely to win the election by default, the Gabonese military toppled Mba in a bloodless coup on February 18, 1964. 
French troops re-established his government the next day. Elections were held in April with many opposition participants. BDG supported candidates won 31 seats and the opposition 16. Late in 1966, the constitution was revised to provide for automatic succession of the vice president should the president die in office. In March 1967, Leon Umba and Omar Bongo, then Albert Bongo, were elected president and vice president. Umba died later that year and Omar Bongo became president. In March 1968, Bongo declared Gabon a one-party state by dissolving the BDG and establishing a new party, the Gabonese Democratic Party. He invited all Gabonese, regardless of previous political affiliation, to participate. Bongo was elected president in February 1975 and re-elected in December 1979 and November 1986 to seven-year terms. In April 1975, the office of vice president was abolished and replaced by the office of prime minister, who has no right to automatic succession. Under the 1991 constitution, in the event of the president's death, the prime minister, the national assembly president, and the defense minister share power until a new election is held. Using the PDG as a tool to submerge the regional and tribal rivalries that have divided Gabon set politics in the past, Bongo sought to forge a single national movement in support of the government's development policies. Opposition to the PDG continued, however, and in September 1990, two coup attempts were uncovered and aborted. Economic discontent and a desire for political liberalization provoked violent demonstrations and strikes by students and workers in early 1990. In response to grievances by workers, Bongo negotiated with them on a sector by sector basis, making significant wage concessions. In addition, he promised to open up the PDG and to organize a national political conference in March to April 1990 to discuss Gabon's future political system. The PDG and 74 political organizations attended the conference. Participants essentially divided into two loose coalitions the ruling PDG and its allies and the United Front of Opposition Associations and Parties, consisting of the Breakaway Morena Fundamental and the Gabonese Progress Party. The April conference approved sweeping political reforms, including creation of a national senate, decentralization of the budgetary process, freedom of assembly and press, and cancellation of the exit visa requirement. In an attempt to guide the political system's transformation to multi-party democracy, Bongo resigned as PDG chairman and created a transitional government headed by a new prime minister, Casimiroy MBA. The Gabonese Social Democratic Grouping, RSDG as the resulting government was called, was smaller than the previous government and included representatives from several opposition parties in its cabinet. The RSDG drafted a provisional constitution that provided a basic bill of rights and an independent judiciary but retained strong executive powers for the president. After further review by a constitutional committee in the National Assembly, this document came into force in March 1991. Despite further anti-government demonstrations after the untimely death of an opposition leader, the first multi-party National Assembly elections in almost 30 years took place in September to October 1990, with the PDG garnering a large majority. Following President Bongo's re-election in December 1993 with 51% of the vote, opposition candidates refused to validate the election results. Serious civil disturbances, which were heavily repressed by the Presidential Guard, led to an agreement between the government and opposition factions to work toward a political settlement. These talks led to the Paris Accords in November 1994 in which several opposition figures were included in a government of national unity. This arrangement soon broke down, and the 1996 and 1997 legislative and municipal elections provided the background for renewed partisan politics. The PDG won a landslide victory in the legislative election, but several major cities, including Libreville, elected opposition mayors during the 1997 local election. President Bongo coasted to an easy re-election in December 1998 with 66% of the vote against a divided opposition. While Bongo's major opponents rejected the outcome as fraudulent, international observers characterize it the result as representative even if the election suffered from serious administrative problems. There was no serious civil disorder or protests following the election in contrast to the 1993 election. President Omar Ali Bongo narrowly beat rival Jean Ping in the official results of the presidential election in 2016. With results showing a trend of success for Ping, 
The final province's results were released after significant delays, showing a remarkable 99.5% support for President Bongo in Hotogo Way. This was conveniently just enough to push Ali Bongo into first place. An EU election observation mission present in the country declared that observers had incurred problems accessing the process of vote counting. The right to demonstrate or express oneself was described by the mission as restrictive apostrophe. The electoral regulations benefited President Bongo, according to the mission's report. The president is elected by popular vote for a seven year term. He appoints the prime minister. The Council of Ministers is appointed by the Prime Minister in consultation with the President. President El Haj Omar Bongo Ondimba, in power since 1967 and the longest serving African head of state, was re elected to another seven year term according to poll results returned from elections held on November 27, 2005. According to figures provided by Gabon's Interior Ministry, this was achieved with 79.1% of the votes cast. In 2003 the president amended the constitution of Gabon to remove any restrictions on the number of terms a president is allowed to serve. The president retains strong powers, such as authority to dissolve the National Assembly, declare a state of siege, delay legislation, conduct referendums, and appoint and dismiss the prime minister and cabinet members. The parliament, Parliament, has two chambers. The National Assembly, Assemblée Nationale has 120 members, 111 members elected for a five-year term in single-seat constituencies and nine members appointed by a head of state, the president. The Senate, Senate, has 91 members, elected for a six-year term in single-seat constituencies by local and departmental councillors. Gabon Supreme Court or Cour Supreme consists of three chambers, Judicial, Administrative, and Accounts, Constitutional Court, Courts of Appeal, Court of State Security county courts. There are nine provincial administrations. These are headquartered in Estuaire, Hotogoe, Mayanogoe, Nyani, Nyanga, Ogoe Ibindo, Ogoe Olo, Ogoe Maritime and Wulunatam. Account, ACP, AFGB, DIC, CCC, SIAC, ESA, FAL, FC, G24, G77, IAEA, IBRD, ICAO, ICC, IDA, IDB, IFAD, IFC, IFRIX, Associate, ELO, IMF, EMO, INMARSAT, INTELSAT, INTERPOL, IOC, E2, ITUC, NAM, OAL, OIC, OPCW, UDIC, UN, UNCTAD, UNESCO, UNIDO, APU, WHO, WIPO, WMO, 2, TRO. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.